everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with a brand new AEW Unrivaled Collection figure review on the brand new ringside exclusive AEW Unrivaled TNT Champion Cody. Now, it just says Champion Cody down here. I don't know exactly, you know, it's just, this is Champion Cody exclusive, you know? You got the figure here, you get the pyro, you get the cool background. Really sick-ass packaging, man. If you're a mock collector, I think you're really gonna enjoy this. If you guys would like to grab this figure already, you can do so at at ringside collectibles using promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10% plenty of great AEW figures to select over there and it's just this is a really great figure man I'm really excited this could be the best Cody we've gotten so far and we're gonna dive into it find out what it's all about and let's just shut the hell up and do so shall we so we got the AEW figure logo here great mock figure like I said great mock figure champion Cody down here the purple and the black and the like it's got like a iridescent kind of feel going on you guys can kind of see what that's going on it's got like some holographics going on on the side, it has a beautiful image of Cody here with some great edits. You got even a number down here. You get the TNT Championship. On the back, you do have this like double or nothing like your backstage kind of deal, like where you are behind the stage. So you guys can see like you got this piping going around. Ringside exclusive, double or nothing. Cody Rhodes, May 23rd, 2020, Jacksonville, Florida. AEW logo there. Another AEW logo on the top. On the other side, you get all of his accessories. So you get the screaming head, you get the straight face, you get the t-shirt and the interchangeable hands which we are going to crack open and find out what this guy's all about guys so with that being said let's crack cody out of his packaging and finally get our hands on this tnt championship so here's our TNT champion Cody out of his packaging. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, really cool packaging again. I gotta, I gotta get that reiterated and I gotta hammer that home because this packaging is fantastic. You know, anytime you're removing AEW figures from their packaging, it can be a little bit tricky, but when you get it out of there, man, I mean, if for the mock collectors, bro, I'm telling you, this thing is immaculate and, you know, it's not like the ringside exclusive Jericho where you can't even see the figure. It's on full display. You can see everything in the packaging, which is absolutely excellent, but we got ringside exclusive TNT champion. Champion Cody, guys. We're going to dive into his accessories, take a look at the championship, take a look at all the details of all these head sculpts, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Cody himself. So let's shut the hell up and do so. All right, guys, so getting us started with our accessories here. Now, this is something that I'd love to see from every AEW figure, every WWE figure, every action figure ever, honestly, because this is perfect. You get your serious face, you get your pissed off yelling face, and then you get your happy smiley face. So you get pretty much a head sculpt for every occasion here. Now, I will be honest with you, this is a re-release of a bunch of different head sculpts from different figures. Now, starting off first, we do have the Series 1 Cody Rhodes slash UK exclusive Cody. We've seen this on multiple figures before. It looks just like him to me. I really like the likeness. I like the hair sculpt, the hair color, everything. This is one of my favorite head sculpts. I think it looks absolutely great. And not only that, guys, we also have the repainted version of the Bl Blood Brothers 2-pack, which is also just so good, dude. Like, look at that. I think the likeness to Cody is amazing. I like the expression. The hair looks really good, and it's really cool now that we can use this to pop on our other Cody's. I mean, it's just great. It's really, really great because you guys know with these AEW figures, fix-ups and stuff are easy because you don't have to heat up the heads. You can just interchange them there, which brings us to our third option for this figure, which is going to be the Series 4 head sculpt, which is the Smiley head sculpt, which I'm sure we'll probably see on some other Cody's and stuff like that, but that is really cool. I think if I had to choose one of the head sculpts, it's honestly really hard because all three of them look so much like him, but I think if I had to, you know, it's like you have to pick one for the remainder. I think I picked the pissed off yelling like just look at it it's so sick but you know i like straight faces too so this one's difficult for me but this one has so much likeness so it's really it's just a trifecta man you hit you hit a home run on all three of them really great head sculpts and you love to see it speaking of interchangeability outside of the packaging hands he does come with double fists right here now the right fist does not have tape on it like the one out of the packaging so you do get your interchangeable fist but out of the packaging he does have interchangeable mic holding hands here and the right one has hand tape the other one does not for the fist so i don't know what that's about. I don't know if he took it off mid-match. I'm not, you know, I don't really remember it, to be honest with you, so there is that right there. Next up, guys, we do have what this thing's really all about when this thing was first shown off. Everybody was excited about the TNT Championship. Now, the championship has been since changed, you know, and on the side of the packaging, it's the gold version with the gold details. This is like the very first version, you know, like the unfinished version, which I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna do. I don't know if they're gonna, re re you know, give us a different version down the line. I mean, I know that all 
are eventually going to give us probably the gold and red version. Then they're going to have the updated black version. So we'll just have to see. I also feel like this title may be a little bit oversized. Like, is it a little bit too big? I don't know. I feel like it, it I don't know. It doesn't look bad on the figure, but compared to like in real life, I feel like it could be shrunk may by maybe like 10% maybe. But the side plates look really good. It feels really good in the hand. It doesn't have the, you know, like the, the flimsy championship problem. You know, a lot of people were, say, were saying that their belts couldn't clasp. This one doesn't feel that way at all. It seems like it has improved a lot. I like the strap color. I think it looks just like the TNT title. Maybe a little bit oversized, but I don't think it's going to really put you off that much. But it does look really good, and it has a good shine to it. Reminds me of a Mattel WWE Championship. So that is really nice to see. And the last accessory that he comes with is the American Nightmare T-shirt with a beautiful graphic on there. I mean, this looks incredible, man. The cloth accessories that the Unrivaled Collection has provided us thus far has been insane. I really have enjoyed it thus far. Uh, this Cody Rhodes shirt is no different. I think it looks really, really nice. So you got Pharaoh's silhouette head back there. You got the eyes and the American flag. You got Cody. You got some skulls and stuff. Badass. I mean, what else do you want? The American Nightmare AEW down there. And it looks like it's going to fit the figure fantastic, which you guys will see later on in the video. But that is all of the accessories you get with this TNT Champion ringside exclusive Cody. And I honestly think that they make it worth it, man. Tons of great interchangeability and a beautiful new championship to add to our collections. Now, diving into Cody himself, guys, we got to start off with the top at the head sculpt. I wanted to put the newer head sculpt on there. I know that it is a slight repaint of the Blood Brothers 2-pack, but it looks so damn good, and we're going to do a comparison shot after this, so you guys will see exactly what it looks like up next to the Blood Brothers, but the new addition to this Cody figure is going to be the neck tattoo, the infamous neck tattoo that everybody shits on him for. Now, I am tatted up pretty damn good, man, and I got to say that, like, nothing could be worse than getting a new tattoo and then a bunch of people telling you that your tattoo is absolute ass cheeks, which, you know, I think it looks pretty badass. Now, I, I mean, the location is definitely a little bit off and everything, but I will say that I think it's pretty, like, his logo's badass, and to stick it right there, I mean, probably a questionable decision, but it's bold, it stands out, and, you know, I, I think it looks cool. I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I mean, maybe a better spot for it, I mean, you'd say the upper shoulder, but I don't know, man, I feel like everybody goes upper shoulder, you know? I mean, maybe you could've went underneath the other one right here, smaller pec tattoo, or maybe on the other pec, I don't know, you know, at the end of the day, I think it's pretty badassery. It really sets him apart, and I like it. You know what? I like it. At first glance, I was like, you know what? Probably not the best decision, but this man has millions. He can do what he wants, and uh, shout out to Cody. Now, going down, guys, I think uh, the tattoo does look pretty good proportionate. You know, I don't think it looks bad at all. We'll take a look at the skin tones in a minute to see kind of how it matches up with other skin tones of different Cody figures, but I like this body mold they use for him. The arms look good. He does have his weight belt that does say Cody versus Archer, of course, from Double or Nothing. The attire is super badass, man. It really stands out. The, the like, silverness, I don't know if you're noticing it on camera, but the matte purple up next to the bright silver of this silver color with the black contrast is sick as shit, man. It's really, really cool. I think it looks amazing. All the graphics and stuff look great. All of Cody's attires are great. They're usually just, you know, different colors, and I'm all here for it, man. Down in the bottom, we do have the Cody Rhodes logo right there on the solid white boots that really stand out as well, so I'm all for it, man. This is, uh, I'd say this is the best Cody, especially when you go, like, value. Like, I think this is probably the best gear. It's definitely close up there at the top, and when you compare it with the value and the rarity and everything like that, man, I mean, I, I think it's a really damn good Cody. Probably the best Cody they've released thus far. Maybe outside of the Chase Variant Series 4 and maybe the Chase Variant Series 1, but the ones that you can get your hands on easily, this is one, man. Go grab it using code MDTOYS at Ringside Collectibles. Well, let's get into some Cody Rhodes figure comparisons. So for your Cody figure comparisons, guys, here's a brand new Ringside exclusive in the middle. You have the UK Ring exclusive, the Ringside exclusive Blood Brothers 2-pack, the Series 1, and then the Series 4, and of course, your new one in the middle. Now, again, all up next to each other, it seems like the skin tone is a little bit off on all of them. You got the Series 1, it was the pale skin tone. You have the Blood Brothers, which looks a little bit better. I would say these are closer in skin tone, and then these are closer in skin tone, but they're definitely off. This is more of like a grayish olive, and this is more of like a like peachy sort of tone, I guess, and then of course you do have the pale one, so I don't know, you could do like, I'm sure a lot of people kind of want to see what this torso looks like with the tattoo on other figures, so I can run through that little, I guess, what would you call that, little fashion show real quick, so before we do that, here is a comparison of the Blood Brothers 2-pack up next to the brand new Ringside Exclusive, or they're both Ringside Exclusive, but I think this looks better, man, like just look at it. I don't know, you guys could tell me, I think I like this likeness a little bit more, and of course it doesn't have blood all over it, so there, there's that, but let's go ahead and take a look 
take a look at these torso swaps. So here is the UK ring exclusive Cody with the tattoo onto these tights, and that looks super badass because it kind of matches everything together in the red. It's just, that's just super sick nasty, man. That right there is dirty AF. Then here's our Series 1 with the tattoo with the gold and navy on there. Looking pretty damn badass. I like, God, I wish I had like a million of this. I, like, it's just so good. I did order another one. I can't remember if I ordered an extra two or an extra one. I know I wanted one to keep mock. I don't know if I ordered an extra for, for loose, so we'll have to play that by ear, but that looks super sick as well. And then for our last torso swap for Cody, here is the new Series 4 with the tattoo on there, and that looks pretty badass as well, but I mean, I'm loving all the Cody figures, man. I know a lot of people bitch about the Cody figures. I, I'm not bitching, man. It looks like a uh, pretty sweet deal to me. Like, I, I like Cody. I enjoy his work. I think his figures are nice, so I'm all here for it. Release 80 of them, I'll buy all 80, you know what I'm saying, man? So I'm still trying to track down the Series 1 chases or both chase variants, so there is your Cody Rhodes figure comparisons. But I think that pretty much wraps up our review of the ringside exclusive TNT champion Cody, ladies and gentlemen. I think overall it looks so good, especially with this t-shirt. Look at the title belt. Does it not seem that it's a little bit oversized? Like, again, it could shrink maybe 10 to 12%. I think it would nail it. But overall, really enjoy the figure. Love, you know, all the Cody figures we've been getting. I know that Jazzwares and Jeremy catch a lot of crap for the amount of Codys that we get. But, uh, you know, I, I still enjoy it, man. I'm, I'm all here for it. I don't really care, uh, you know, how many figures they release. Probably going to grab them, so. So, you know, they could put 10 Cody's in one wave. Would probably grab them. I have a problem. Help me. But if you guys would like to grab this again, go over to Ringside Collectibles. I will I will go out and say, outside of the Chase variants, this is the best Cody, you know, for the, for the amount of stuff you get. You get the claw t-shirt, TNT title, three interchangeable heads, just a lot of great stuff. Great attire. Overall packaging is nice. I mean, there's no, nothing really wrong with this figure uh, to, that, you know, really pokes out at me that says, do not buy. This is an absolute must cop, I think, for any AEW figure fan. And uh, I'll, I'll write that to the bank. But grab it using MD Toys at Ringside Collectibles, guys. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and the review. Let me know your thoughts on this figure down below. And maybe I'll check it out. And uh, and I'll reply. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line, damn it. Don't cross it. Don't cross it. Don't